guys, this is Valentine and I just wanted to show you what I made. Um, it's called a match book theater and it's, this is a, my sail away theme, I guess. And I was really inspired by um, a guy that I saw on YouTube. His name is Paul Fleischman and he creates these matchbox theaters and he has some, a couple of different ones and I wanted to make the, um, the one with the crank and, um, he tells you how it's, how he does it and it's really easy to follow. You just need to get creative with like your stage and the scenery. Um, so I chose like a sailboat. It's pretty cute. <laughs> anyway, um, but it's the size of a matchbox and you can actually use an existing matchbox if you have one laying around. I didn't. I used, um, let's see, cardstock to make a matchbox. And here it is on the side. So, um, and I'm gonna tip it like this so you can see the gear. And I don't, can you see that? Okay, so it's like a wire. Um, a piece of wire, and then there's another piece of wire kind of wrapped around it, um, like spiral, and um, you just crank it. Oops, the sailboat doesn't want to work. Okay, so yeah, and the sailboat's actually hanging on a, a loop and a piece of wire. It's just dangling there, and um, I kind of curled it at the end here so that you can't pull it out. And then this handle, um, you can make your own handle however you want it, but I just kind of bent mine like this. And Paul uh, Fleischman, he put a, I think a piece of tape around the crank here. I added a bead cause I thought, oh, you know, it should, it'd be easier to hold and it just kind of glides inside of the bead and I don't know, I like the way it looks. So yeah, the bead helps. <laughs> and then um, inside it's just like, I didn't color it. The only thing I colored I think was the moon or the sun, whichever you wanna call it. But um, the clouds and the ocean waves, I just cut out scrapbook paper that I had and it was like unique colors and it just seemed to fit and I'm like oh that's like you know cloudy cloudish <laughs> or this looks like waves so um yeah I just used what I had and it was really scraps of paper that I had it's kind of nice because it's small enough you could do that so um yeah I save all my scraps <laughs> that I use for my swaps so um this little cute thing is going to go to my new friend, Natalia. Um, she is an amazing artist and I met her through Loaded Envelopes Galore um, and we are doing a swap together. So this was not required in our swap, but I just wanted to do something, I don't know, a little fun and extra. I like to make things like challenge myself and make things that I haven't done before. So I thought she would, um, like this a lot. <laughs> um, I don't think she's ever received anything like this. So, and I like to like send stuff like that to people. Whoops. Um, and just kind of challenge myself with something that I've never made before. So this, I really loved how it turned out. So, and you can use, like, I use sequins in, as the stars in the back. Um, and I use the foam tape, you know, the little dots, just to give the clouds and the moon and the ocean some depth. And I just I hand drew this, the curtains here, the stage. Um, yeah, and I, I put a little note on the back for Natalia um, so she could see and um, here for me, because it's always nice to personalize your works of art. <laughs> and um, anyway, I just wanted to share this with you, what I made. Um, 
sometimes I just, I have to get creative late at night because I'm naturally a creative person and the only time I get to do this is when my daughter is asleep in bed and, and my husband's asleep and I can just be in my craft room and get creative on something as little and detailed as this. I love little things that make me smile. So <laughs> this is, I don't know, I'm probably gonna have to make another one of these for Ariana. <laughs> so I think she'll like it. <laughs> and um, anyway, I hope this inspires you. I will um, also, I wanted to share with you, Natalia, my, my swapping partner, she has a um, website because she not only get, is an, a creative artist, but she has her own store. It's online. It's called, um, let's see, Natasha's Scrapbook Corner with a K. And um, I can link her shop down below, but I was looking at her stuff and she has a lot of things on there that... Um, I think like Michael's and Joann's and Hobby Lobby, they just don't have. And just, there's a lot of unique things there. So if you're looking for like unique lace or embellishments, um, flowers, like paper flowers or lace flowers, or I don't know, fabric flowers, even resin flowers. Um, but it's not just flowers. She has like many other things. There's like a ton of stuff in her store. Um, just, I don't know. Check her out. I will link her store at the bottom of this. And um, yeah, so there you go, Natasha. <laughs> I um, I hope you enjoy this little matchbox theater. And um, yeah, if you want to know how to make this, visit um, Paul Fleischman. Or you could just look at matchbox theater. So that's how I, I kind of stumbled upon him. I don't know. And it, it just kind of interests me. Anyway, um, yes, people, let's get creative. <laughs> All right. I will talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.